All right, first thing that we're gonna need to do is put in the heat inserts here and here. There's also one on the other side, which is right here. And for the second piece, I'm just going to make it flush with the outside. I believe that's as far as you wanna go with it. Okay. Oops. Might have went a little bit deeper, but it should be fine. All right, for the next step, you're going to need these Maker Beam XL um, pieces here and also two M3 by eight screws. Just a tip on the belts before you run them. I received a fairly long amount of belt with my kit. Uh, yours may vary, but um, you basically just wanna cut them in half, whatever belt length you have, cut it in half, um, assuming that you've got enough there for two belts. And after you cut your belts, you basically just want to run them at the same length, uh, both the top and bottom. And when you're done with that, you can visually see, uh, you know, how they look. And you basically want them the same, want to try to keep them at the same exact length as much as possible. It'll help with the tensioning later. Okay, I have gone ahead and run the belts. You can see kind of how they run, just based on the manual. Um, it was a little confusing, especially if you've never had a Core XY before. Luckily I have, so it, it pretty much makes sense to me. Um, challenge is I have, I have a ton left over, so I'm gonna have to cut that. And what I'm gonna try to do is cut it from one side. These are two different belts, so I'm gonna try to make these pretty much exact length. And uh, now at this point, I'm gonna get ready to install that next piece and then start doing some tensioning. And you're gonna need your M2 by sixes to put your carriage on the rail carriage. And it's going to go on just like that. Okay, after filling with this for a little bit, um, I was able to figure out that taking off this um, nut is a lot easier. Uh, as you can see, I've got two of the belts in um, and you don't want to attach this until after you put the belts in. So, and the directions do say that, but the, the nut on the back really for, especially with this excess length that I have here, it's going to be easier to remove it and then put it back on afterwards. So here's what I mean by taking off the nut. You can see I'm starting to feed the belt through. It's actually really tight. Can't imagine doing this with the nut on. All right. So I now have the belts pulled through. I have these, um, I have everything tightened. Now I just really need to tighten the uh, maker beam uh, pieces here from the screws. You can see both belts are pretty much equal length. And I also am still square on the gantry or the x-axis here. So it's looking pretty good. Okay, I've been tightening the belts a little bit more. I did notice I, ha I actually had an issue where something was, was off on this. So I had to rerun this belt, but otherwise I think all the belts now are correct. Uh, make sure when you're tightening them, there's nothing that's like hanging on, you know, the wrong spot, because otherwise it's going to loosen the tension later. So there you have it. Also, when you're tightening, keep an eye on your your gantry or your X axis here. Make sure that it is still even throughout the tightening process. When you pull one, it may make it loose, then you gotta pull the other one to make it, uh, to square it up again.